cover a couple different things, be a little bit all over the place, but one of the things I always like to start out with is asking you guys, what form of government do we have in the United States? Constitutional Republic. Constitutional Republic. Not a democracy, right? No, I right. think everybody understands why. I don't need to actually cover those sort of things, those things, right? Now, the thing to tell you like it is, and I didn't prepare a speech. I asked you. I've walked down here, and this is off the top of my head, just some of the things that's on my heart about what's going on and what's been going on in the Capitol. And I've been at this 14 years, so I've become extremely frustrated, and I've moved beyond frustrated to not really caring a lot of it. I am looking forward to getting out of politics and never coming back to it. And my personal opinion is, is that I will change the world more by teaching Sunday school class than I will have in 14 years that I spent doing it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, but that's I'm going to interject right now because you have changed this building, and this building will yes, remain have. here for a long, long time. And, and we all know you and, did. And, okay. I mean, there are some things, but, but I'm talking about really changing the world. Um, so, one of the things that we do when we're concentrating about trying to change, and that's why you're here, is changing things for the better. We look at the politicians, right? And the politicians come, and they go. The letters after their names come, and they go. But nothing changes. Here's what you're not going to like here. If every one of you in this office got elected to office, seven and ten of you would actually turn just like the people you're mad at right now. I think, I think experience bears that out. <laughs> seven and ten of them. Because the, the people that I have seen come, they had your heart and they had your fire. What the heck happens? Money. How many of you, how many of you have let your foot slide and only one or two people knew about it? I'm not asking you to answer that question. <laughs> and done something you didn't want somebody to know about. That one person that knows about it then owns you and controls you. Even if you don't vote against your conscience, you are silenced to take the stand. And I bet you, every one of you, have got something in your mind right now that puts you in that spot. It's because they're human beings. They're in that on that floor, and they suffer from the same frailties that every one of you do that does, and every the same things you would do. So I want to give you the perspective when you're dealing with human beings. You wouldn't be much better, and I'm not much better. So where where does that leave us? Where can we? What can we do? been trying to think. What can we do with that? One of the things that we can do is, I mean, and it's not just our failings. It's our loved ones. I mean, I've got no legislators. They've got spouses that were unfaithful to them. They don't want that out in public. And they're not going to run for re-election. But they want to spare their children that. They want to save their marriage, and it won't be saved publicly. I'm not talking about myself, but it's close to home. Right? What do you think that does to their voting? If somebody knows, and will use it. Okay, now let's talk about, let's talk about, you got a business. It's your father running a business. And then an agency comes in, you, they know you are going to actually impact that agency with you, your bill. Or by supporting that bill, it will impact your somebody's office. Let's say that it's a highway bill. It's going to put a lot of money into a big paving. And this is an example I'm making up on the fly. So don't try to put stuff together. It's a hypothetical. But you're against that tax increase for the highway. But your father is in a business where he could be severely impacted both by the Highway Commission and he's already feeling the heat. He's already losing clients. So now your dad and your mom are fixing to have to be losing a business 
What do you do? And the bureaucracy that's in here, the DHS, had meetings with 120 people. And that agency and that bureaucracy will hunt down because the agencies and the bureaucracies now exist primarily, pardon me here, they have become an elitist institution that exists primarily for the propagation of, and growth of themselves. 